absolutely. But I'll take a team that'll fight over a team that won't, that'll sit back and take it any day of the week and bring on the next team. So that's how I look at it. Give me a team that's got some fight and will compete to the very end, right, wrong, or indifferent, no matter how good the officiating is or whatever. Makes no difference to me. I'll take a team with some competitive fight and some spirit. 17 penalties, ridiculous? Absolutely. 100% is ridiculous. And so you say what you want, but I'll, I'll take a team that'll fight. I'm proud of this team, and we'll keep fighting, and eventually we'll find a way to win. Eventually we'll find a way to eliminate penalties. All right, so that's Rex's take after losing to the Giants at home. Now we need your take. Skip, Rex shows emotion every single week mm. after wins, after mm. losses. Do you like how he handled the postgame in this one? I did not. And as you both know, I picked the Bills to be a wild card team in the mm -hmm. AFC. And I was very disappointed in Rex Ryan after this game because there were many other ways he could have gone. And let me start my little diatribe with okay. what our Dan Graziano reported before the game, that Tom Coughlin told his team that the Bills will beat themselves with penalties. And they committed, what was it, 17, 135 <coughs> yards? Yeah, 17 mm -hmm. penalties. That's a disaster. Mm -hmm. They lead so, the league with 58. Yeah, they're, they're running away with that mm -hmm. lead also. So if Rex had opened up by saying, look, we didn't have LaShawn McCoy, and we didn't have Sammy Watkins, two of our, our biggest and best playmakers, so we struggled a little bit on offense. I could accept that. If he would then go to the penalties and say, hey, coaching does play some role in the number of penalties that we've committed, but he took no blame at all for the penalties committed when he should have. And then when he talks about, I'll stick with a team that will fight. Did they look like they fought on the Rashad Jennings run that <laughs> broke the game open from 17 and to 10 to 20? he swat to the side yeah. like the guy? Look at this. <laughs> look One, at this run. Two. two. Now watch this guy right here. Up. And, get out of my way. And got hurt on the play. Oh, oh, way, to baby. way to go. We go 24 to 10. Way to go, Rashad. Rashad had like no yards to that point, and he shrugged off three completely uninspired, non fighting Buffalo Bills. Are you kidding me? That broke, that they're 17 to 10. They could have stopped him. If the, if the first tackle is made, maybe we're having a different conversation mm -hmm. right now. Is that fight? That's not fight to me. So, again, Rex looks silly up there trying to defend that because you can't defend that. You need to take it, swallow it, admit it, embrace it, and say, we'll be ready for next week. I mean, it's just as simple as that. Instead, he says, no, we, you, you guys don't know what goes on. I know a couple of the penalties were bad calls or mm -hmm. iffy calls. I get that. But after a game in which you commit 17 and now you, you, you become a target for officials because they're just going to say, oh, it's the Bills, throw the flag. Because you know they're going to commit a whole bunch of penalties anyway. Mm -hmm. That's I, I, at least 50 percent is that of that is on the coaching staff. I'm sorry we talked about this the other day. Uh, Rex didn't love it. Maybe Don't take a page out of Bill O'Brien's yeah. book there with blaming it all on himself. You know, Skip, it's interesting. I was trying to find the date, and forgive me, I couldn't locate when it was, but being from New York, unlike you two, and being connected with the New York media, under, which you both are to some degree, in all seriousness, understanding the delicacies that involve Rex Ryan whenever he goes against Tom Coughlin. What Rex did was use that to disguise the ultimate level of frustration because Tom Coughlin gets a kick out of beating Rex Ryan. He is the antithesis mm -hmm. of Rex Ryan. And I mean no disrespect to Rex Ryan because I think he's a fabulous defensive no, coach. He should be applauded mm -hmm. for the two AFC championships that he delivered to New York. AFC Championship Games, that is, um, even though it was time for him to go, which he admitted in New yep. York, there is no doubt that it was good for him to be a head coach. I actually thought he would go for the Atlanta job as opposed to the Buffalo job at the time that it happened, even though Dan Quinn is obviously doing a phenomenal mm -hmm. job thus far. But I say all of that to say, Tom Coughlin, I don't know him at all. Don't know him personally, don't yep. know him professionally, I don't know Tom Coughlin at all. Never spoke to him. But I will tell you that watching his press conferences, knowing people in the media who have communicated with him, in the past, whenever his Giants beat Rex Ryan's Jets, mm -hmm. he took pleasure in it. Oh, I'm sure he did. No matter what. Because of one reason and one reason only. Rex is the antithesis of him. Mm -hmm. Rex is about bluster. Rex is mm -hmm. about headlines. Rex is about... Tom Coughlin is about business. He's old school. Tom, Tom Coughlin is old school. He's about showing up. 
He's about getting the job done. Mm -hmm. He's about going home. That's Tom Coughlin. Want to go home with his children, his grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Sure. Why, that's Tom Coughlin, okay? He is the ultimate disciplinarian mm -hmm. in, in terms of just disciplining himself and sure. doing things, quote, unquote, the right way. Yep. Rex Ryan is more modern. And Rex Ryan wants to blow and bluster and all of that stuff. What needs to be said today in my estimation, I watched the Giants pick apart the Buffalo Bills, get a lead, was up 16 to three for most of the game. Here's what the reality is, is that this team is not living up to the expectations Skip Bayless and others mm -hmm. have projected about them. And that is an ultimate indictment against yep. Rex, more so than ever than when he was at the Jets. Do you know why? Because Tyrod Taylor has been playing better than any quarterback Rex Ryan has ever had. That's true. And that includes Mark yep. Sanchez. Until okay? yesterday. Well, well, I'm just saying, yeah. until yeah. yesterday. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you is when you take that into account, along with the personnel that you have on your defense, why do you come into these games ill-prepared? You blew, you, you blew Oviated ad nauseum mm -hmm. leading into the New England Patriots. And we had sports and up there live with the wonderful matriarch of sports television, as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. and Hannah Storm. Mm -hmm. What yep. happens? Y'all get blown out the water for the That's first three true. quarters. For the first three quarters. Yep. And then yesterday you seem ill prepared as well. So it's one of those situations where I think Rex was wrong because he was really speaking to his frustration of losing to Tom Coughlin, in my opinion. But I also think that the time has come where we look at Rex Ryan and we say, enough's enough. Win some damn football games. Mm -hmm. You've got enough talent to do it. They do. We're not interested now, again, in your headlines. You're down your two biggest playmakers. That's that. fair. That's fair. Yeah. That's yeah. fair. But we don't want to hear but about the headlines coming out of much. West New York, no. Western New York. We want to see W's. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. You were going against the New York Giants team that don't have all their pieces either. Correct. And y you have your defensive pieces. And Rex Ryan's calling card is coaching mm -hmm. defense. Mm -hmm. And now it's only four games, not a huge sample size, but your defense is 17th in points allowed and 23rd in yards allowed. That ain't Rex Ryan's defense. To me, that, again, you had to play Tom Brady and he threw for 466, mm -hmm. but... But still, th this isn't good enough yet. I'm going to hang in with this team because I still think it's very mm -hmm. talented. And if they get the two playmakers back, yep. especially LaShawn, that would help a lot. Mm -hmm. Players do love playing for him. There's never been a question about that. Kevin Durant, meanwhile, has some strong words for our very own Stephen A. Smith.